Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to review the Microsoft Touch Mouse. It says it's exclusively for Windows 7, but we'll see if it works on anything else. And this is actually the Artist Series by Deanne Chook. This is about a $50 to $80 mouse on Amazon. Uh, sometimes you can get it on Microsoft for different deals, or you can see it on Best Buy. Sometimes there's deals all over the place, but generally they're $50 to $80. Actual retail, I believe, is $79.99. The box itself is really nice, has a little magnet clasp on the front, feels pretty premium, and I've already taken the mouse out in a different video. And it's difficult to put back in, but it's really nice packaging and does a good job showcasing a premium mouse. The mouse itself is really nice. It's got this nice ergonomic rise to it. My hands are pretty big, so it, it feels a little less comfortable than some of their larger mice that they have. The old Explorer Blue Track mice, our mouse is really nice and big. This one is pretty good, and you, and you need a little bit smaller mouse to do some of the gestures on here. The design of the mouse overall, though, is really nice. Now, the entire thing is a button. As opposed to most different Microsoft's mice or mouse, uh, the two buttons here for right and left click or right and left click here, we have a little dividing line and the entire top moves. There is no independent button. So when you click it, the whole thing moves and it's a little bit different feeling. You can see the whole thing is, is moving independently of this portion, which is houses kind of everything that makes the mouse work. On the bottom, we have our two pads that allow it to slide around more easily. We also have a USB transceiver that clicks into the bottom so we don't lose that. I wish it was blue track, but or uh, Bluetooth rather, uh, but unfortunately they haven't done that with this mouse. This is a blue track mouse that has a blue LED that uh, works really well on a lot of different surfaces due to the different spectrum of light. Let's go ahead and open this up, and we have two AA batteries that are good for months. Now Microsoft generally claims usually like five to, to eight months of battery time. I generally find it to be two to four, so in my test, but. That may or may not be true depending on how often you use it. If you use it for eight hours every day, you're going to find it to be less, I think. So overall, the mouse is really nice design-wise. So let's go ahead and see in practice how it really works. Uh, before we do that, though, the top of the surface is a little more textured than, say, a touchscreen uh, phone or the Magic Mouse from Apple. It has a different feel to it, and I'm not sure that that's really a good thing, uh, but it's not a bad thing either. It's just a different feeling, so it's not as slippery as all. So let's go ahead and take a look at it on Windows 7 and see how well the gestures work and what we can do with it. We're running Windows 7, and let's go ahead here to the Start menu, and we will go to Microsoft Mouse into the Options. And you can see it's Windows 7, it's just the default setup, installed the mouse software, and we're good to go. So we have some options for our left button and our right button. And under each of those, we can choose different things, such as open, new, whatever we want it to do. We have pointers, pointer options, most of the things you would expect, except we have this touch tab now. And we can scroll and pan fast, and it shows all these different things. But on the bottom, we can practice the gestures, and it shows us how to do that. Let's wait for it to come up here. And this kind of walks us through the different gestures with the mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. It's a nice little intro video. It comes up here. And to show all windows, it's going to walk us through. So I'll try and show this on the camera the best I can. So the three-finger sweep. So it pops this up. And we'll go ahead and try. And you can see I clicked the mouse uh, not on purpose. So we're going to try that again. we go. It's really hard not to click this mouse when you're doing the, ge the gestures like that. And they seem to be hit and miss. Sometimes they work great, sometimes they don't. Uh, the best one is probably back and forward, and I'll show you that in a moment. So you can see I just made that work. It did work, but you can't push as hard, so it's a little bit difficult to do. So it's going to say next gesture to hide all windows. We're going to do the reverse. We're just going to pull with three fingers. And it might be because my hand is so big and covering the mouse, uh, but we're just going to pull with three fingers. And you can see it, it dropped the windows to the corner. Next gesture. Two finger gestures. And we're going to maximize all windows. And it's a two finger sweep, and that will maximize the window. We'll go to the next gesture. Let me turn this down here. Go to the next gesture, and it's a sweep two fingers down gesture. 
and I just pull with two and it went down. And sometimes, like I said, they seem to work great, but occasionally you'll click the mouse and the gesture doesn't work. So to snap a window to the left, we do with two fingers to the left. Snap a finger to uh, snap the window to the right. We're going to do two fingers right. I'll show you that. Sweep two fingers right. It snaps to the right. And the thumb gesture. These are probably the ones that work the best, that you're going to use the most often as well uh, to go back. You're just going to move your thumb like this across the top of it. So, you can see it's moving. And that's that gesture. And we have one final gesture, is to go forward. To go forward, we're going to sweep our thumb this way. And so it works, it works well, and if you want to do free play, you can pick whichever gesture you like, just to make sure you know what you're doing, and play around. And we'll go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer 9 here. We'll go to Zolotech, and I'll show you the scrolling. So you can see my hand here, I'm just going to scroll with, with the mouse. And you can see it's pretty fluid, not a problem here, it's fast. Uh, if I click on latest giveaway. Uh, we have the full story here. We can slow down. If I want to go back, I can just go back. You can see it doesn't, it, it seems to work intermittently sometimes for me, and I'm not sure what the deal is. So there, forward, back. If I want to snap the window to the left, I can do that. If I want to snap the window to the right, I can do that. I can maximize, I can minimize, or shrink. Uh, we have three finger gestures, you can see my recording there, and we can shrink everything down or minimize everything. So it does work. Uh, it's very similar to some things that Mac OS X has in it as far as gestures, and it's one of the things that's loved a lot about, about those products. And that's the next question, is how well does this work in Mac OS X? Let's go ahead and switch to that. We're now running OS X, this is Lion, and we have the touch mouse plugged in. And it works well as a mouse, but not all the gestures work. So you can see it's scrolling as I move my finger here. And uh, it does scroll. But that's really about it. We don't have options for all the different things, such as back and forward. It just doesn't work because there is no software for it. Microsoft has not provided software uh, for any of those things. Let's go to Preferences. And in Preferences... Uh, we don't have many options either. We just have our traditional mouse button. So you won't get all those really nice gestures you do on the Windows side or the Mac side, uh, such as expose and the different things you can do like that uh, when you have a touchpad. So it's unfortunate because it isn't a bad mouse or anything. It's a really nice mouse, uh, which is typical of Microsoft. The problem is we just don't have any software that controls it. Now, there may be some software out there, uh, homemade, but there isn't anything that Microsoft or Apple provides as far as other than to allow it to scroll. Uh, we can right-click with it, but that's about it. So we have left-click, right-click, and we can scroll. So if you want to use it as a typical mouse, that's fine. But you won't get any of those nice gestures, and the same thing isn't recognized by OS X as it is by their mouse. So I'm not sure what the difference is there, but it doesn't work that way. As you saw, the, the mouse overall is pretty good. Tracking is, is fairly good. I've seen better tracking on other mice, so I don't know that you would really want to use this for a gaming mouse. Uh, but it is nice for navigating around Windows, and as it says, it's exclusively for Windows 7. So unless there's some custom software that maybe some of you know about out there for Mac, uh, it's, you're really not going to gain the benefit of these gestures with anything other than a Windows computer. I have used this on the Windows 8 developer version as well, and it seems to work just as well. Uh, no problems there, but the gestures aren't quite the same just because the operating system is a little bit different. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. This is Aaron. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.